If you want to see in detail how we made this recipe, go to littlegriddle.com and check out our recipe blog. We have a lot of great tips and we have the full recipe right there so you can see how we made this dish. Hi everyone, I'm John from Little Griddle. Welcome to my backyard. Today we're going to make some awesome snack food. We're going to make some shishito peppers on the griddle and then we're going to make a cabbage pancake called okonomiyaki. They're both fantastic, you're really gonna like this recipe. Let's get started. What I'm holding here is a bowl of shishito peppers and these are a beautiful pepper. They're an excellent snack when you roast them with oil and then you sprinkle them with a little bit of sea salt. They're really terrific. Occasionally you get a hot one, it's kind of a surprise, but for the most part they're just a mild crunchy pepper and we're going to do them right in the griddle and the reason I'm doing these first is I want to eat them while we're making our pancake. So my griddle is nice and hot, I'm going to put some oil on it and we're going to start roasting. Today I'm using a high heat canola oil and I want just enough to coat the surface of the griddle. Don't worry about where it goes because we can move it around with our peppers once we get started. Now I'm going to take my tongs and I'm going to move these around so everything is in contact with the griddle surface and we're just going to let them get nice and charred and I want to make sure that everything gets at least a little bit of oil on it. Now that these peppers are on and have started to cook a little bit, I want them to cook through thoroughly. So I'm going to close the hood and let them cook for a few minutes undisturbed. These peppers have been cooking for about three minutes, so they're probably ready to turn. Let's take a look. That's what we want to see, some nice browning. I would say this batch of peppers is ready to turn over. We're going to cook a little bit on this side, then take them off, add a sprinkling of salt, and they'll be ready to eat. Because this is so hot, I can let these cook with the hood open for a minute, and we'll just keep an eye on them and see how they're doing. The second side probably will not take very long. Now these peppers have cooked for about another three minutes on the second side, and as you can see, they're done. These are ready to come off. And so we're going to just take them to a plate. That's almost all there is to it. I'm going to take them right here, and I'm just going to give them a grind of sea salt. That's all there is to it. Shishito peppers ready to eat. These are delicious. We hope that you've enjoyed roasting shishito peppers with us on our Little Griddle Outdoor Barbecue Cookware. Be sure to watch the next installment of our two-part series on Japanese snack foods when we will use our griddle to make okonomiyaki, or cabbage and seafood pancakes. Click here to see more.